Hello everyone, Monkey Boys back on the Intricate Effects server. And I have 39 experience points because I've been doing a little bit of work on some bows and I come up with this Power 4 Flame 1 Unbreaking 3 Punch 1 Bow. And we're going to put a name on this thing so it will be repaired forever. And it's going to cost me 39 experience points, I believe. 39. So, what shall the name be? Let's see. I want to play a little bit of games here. <laughs> see if I can come up with something that's a little bit different. Um, can I do... Ooh, that's too bad. Wonder... Nope, let's do... Does that work? Does that work? I guess I need to turn on some lights so I can see my keys. No. I want it shot through the heart. Let's do... Let's do this. And then everybody do... Everybody go... Everybody go snap. Right there. Shot through the heart. That'll be his name. That's it. Uh-huh. Yep. It's a one bad mamba jamba right there. Yep. All right, guys, let's finish off these knuckleheads. I think I got a few in here. Just hold your ears for a second. We're going to throw down, get the rest of these XP. I might have some dudes up there in the chamber. Got to unload the chamber. You got to unload all guns before you storm away for safekeeping. Put some water back. Flip the lever. And they're down. And this is the part you don't want to hear. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to do this. And the silence is beautiful. I love silence, man. Sometimes you can just sit here and you watch those guys fry and you don't have to hear choo, choo, choo. And you thought I hit pause or mute so you wouldn't have to hear noises and I gave them to you anyways. Just sharing. Just trying to be a share guy. Man, I have not put out a video in almost a whole entire week. Tell you what, I've been a busy man in my real my real life, not in my cartoonic Minecraft life. Um, had some things going on, and uh, you know, I work uh, retail management, and I had some. Uh, upper bigger dogs of management come into town so we obviously had to show the respect to those folks that they deserve and uh the whole week kind of went up in a lot of work um next week's going to be the same and so i don't really have a whole lot going on today but we are going to look around spawn we're going to check some things out and let's go ahead and get started on that so i was coming down here and i was like what is going on thanks again Monkey boy from Sigma. The guy drops a block of emerald and a stack of ink and a book. So let's go ahead and read the book. Read the book. You know, maybe I need to put up this bow too while we're down here. We'll just put it in our inner chest. The Sigmeister always repays his debt, Sigma. Very cool, which is kind of overdone, Sig, because. I don't think I gave him nearly that many. I don't know where the emerald block came from. Maybe that was like an interest payment. Um, but I know I didn't give him near that many uh, sacks. I told him he could go to my base and just take what I had. And looks like he uh, found his way out with plenty. So pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Glad you, uh, glad you enjoyed and, and thanks for the payback. Uh, I don't want that in there. What else did I have in there? That was weird. There was, oh, water breathing. You know, actually, ink sacks might be cool to have in there, just in case I want to write a note down the road somewhere. Weird. Duke is, like, always in the way. Do you guys have a dog that just likes to lay in the hallway? You get up in the middle of the night to go get a drink of water out of the out of the fridge, and there's, there's Duke, and you fall down. You know? You, Duke, get out of the hallway. All right, so this reminded me of the one down there. So here's this, or here this. 
here is this tanks and one Fred likes to say tanks so I think I lent one Fred 56 iron and the deal was interest payment of five iron per day so let's see what this comes to all right so 56 do the math carry the one looks like you gave me three days payment um, happy days why am I stuck oh good job agent let's uh, block this thing out here very good we might want to tell one Fred thanks for the iron back he is on right now very cool okay here we go let's knock this one out now we got a couple signs and a couple chests all right let's see here let's just drop that in for later knock this out into I don't know where I keep my slimes at hey, there's a good place for them uh, six book that might be something that we'll frame up maybe we'll have a room uh, to frame up all the good stuff now let's go check out what we've got at spawn uh-huh uh-huh oh of course thanks Fred look at this guy over here we're gonna do something with this feller this guy's been here since Halloween so he spawned in there he's got his Halloween helmet on there with a with the pumpkin head what's really cool about him is he found a uh, <laughs> he found himself an egg so the dude's got himself an egg He's in the water, so the sun comes out. He's got his helmet on. The sun comes out, it won't hurt him. He won't despawn because of the egg. But I think what he's gonna be really cool for, and I'm not gonna do it today. We'll probably do it next episode, but he's gonna be a gatekeeper. So we're gonna have to find a way to maybe minecart him, channel him over here, and give him a little stand so that he can greet all the, all the people that enter this this place and we're gonna have to come up with a name for this um right now i'm not quite sure what to call it um i don't know monkey boy is my name so i don't know it might be like m key castle i think m key castle sounds pretty good you guys let me know if you like m key castle um m key mountain or key mountain why don't you put in the comments, guys, uh, names that you might think will be cool for this place. I'm calling it my summer home for now, but... Oh, wrong way. But really, summer home? When am I ever going to have time for a winter home at this rate? And I'll show you why as we run down this nice tunnel. This is something we're going to need to work on, too. Because everybody else is all fancy. Monkey boy's over here with a bunch of ugly nether rack down his tunnel. Oh, I hear noises. Um, so here we go. We've got at least the sky done at the very top. And I didn't come all the way down the wall because that I don't think that slant in the wall is going to be there. I think the sky is going to flatten out even farther back. And I'll show you that, guys, that in another episode as well. All right. So the post office 100% complete in here. A little nice design some semi hidden lighting uh, behind the chest that kind of thing agents claimed one I have one and Sigma is over there and one Fred Jones is right here so it's pretty cool let's see if anybody's been cooking yeah a lot of cooking been going on all this nether rack's been made up I think I'm the one that's probably made that's uh, done most of the nether rack and I believe we have all the way to 59 buckets before we have to go refill. So we have a long ways to go. Um, let's see here. Let's go over to my chest. And it's really my mailbox. But for right now, we're going to use it for quick storage. And we just got to make sure there's enough room just in case somebody wants to drop a book or make a trade that we're not in their way either. Um, let's see here. And let's do this this way. What we come up with. Looking good. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's drop this in here. Whoa. Wait a second, what we got now? 
We got all kinds of good stuff going on. Okay. Ooh, scouting report. Let's see what we got going on. There's some serious missions going on by Sig. We need some pack to ice. Let's see what he's come up with. I regret to inform you. Anytime a letter starts with I regret to inform you, there's always something bad coming next. But the area surrounding Agent 8's mob farm contains no packed ice. Enclosed along with the map are half of the spoils of my sea voyage. The search for mushrooms and packed ice continues. I will be successful, says Sig. Alright. Wow, so I I guess this is a gift. Let's see what the map shows. And let it load in there. Um whoop. Let me see. I think there's a way to well, you can do a little swervy wervy And how do we bring it up? That's what I want to know. I don't even know how to bring this. Oh, there you go. Look down at it. Hey, check that out. Just look down at it. And then that's how you look at it. Okay, so right there, if you look right by my crosshairs. I wish I could put my crosshairs on it. Um, it's just really off. It's off center just a little bit. That's where the mob farm is. And I have basically right up the center of this map ran uh, my tunnel under the nether and we popped up all the way out here um, in the Mesa area. So we've seen all that and it's so much ocean. So we gotta, we gotta get rid of that ocean stuff. Let's go put this back and we're gonna have to find what else we're looking for. But it uh, looks like we got a gift. We're gonna take that gift I don't know why I get a gift when he's doing something for me, but I definitely will find a way to repay the gent because he's been a very awesome addition to our server and he's got some really cool stuff going on in his place. You should check out his channel. All right, one of the things I wanted to do is just clean out some of this extra nether rack. So let's go ahead and, oh, fill up my inventory all the way and we're just gonna drop it right down the smelting hole right here I would just like to get rid of the whole batch let it cook down there there's too much I have a ton of double chest as well that are hidden away of nether rack so I'm gonna go ahead and just get as much nether brick from what I have upstairs right now till we have all these chests cleared out for everybody else do, 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 All right. Say paya. Paya. All right. Cool deal. So post office is up and running, obviously. I just got mail. And let's see if anybody else has anything going on. Wow. One Fred's got a cobblestone. Big time. Agent A. Nothing. Did we check out six mailbox? Shouldn't be tampering with other people's ooh seeds. Somebody's gifting. I think I see the trend here. Uh, go watch uh, Agent A's video. What's up, little guy? Hey, little tyke. You better have a diaper on, cause you better not be making a mess around these parts, boy. Get on out of here! Hey, get on out of here! Did a little uh, landscaping for these guys. A little terraforming landscaping and I think that's why they got gifted those items in their mailbox so all right guys let's go see spawn for a second we're going to check that bad boy out and see what's happening in those parts um quit looking that way I know I got work to do these guys are razzing me like crazy about the work I got to do in this nether hub I need to go on an adventure if I have time for that today we will go looking for that packed ice I think I'm going to drop um, more portals down. Is this? Almost looks like uh, just a loose horse. Well, he's tame, right? Huh. I don't know whose horse he is, but it's kind of cool to have horse around spawn. But yeah, those guys are giving me a hard time. I need to go find some packed ice. I, I'm going to find every biome or at least a transition through biomes that looks good and it makes sense. And I really, really wanted to do snow and packed ice as part of that. So Agent A is the man that, that has a green thumb. He does all this nice stuff around here. Um, I find myself enjoying the building a lot. Uh, Agent A uh, does, he's, he's pretty good at building. 
um, and pretty good at, you know, he, jack all trades is what Agent A is, but I think he, what he finds near and dear to his heart is, is planting pretty flowers and grass everywhere. Um, so he noticed sunflowers that if the sunflowers aren't facing you as you're going through a path, he's pretty sad about that. Let's check out Town Hall, and this has been Agent A's project. This thing is uh, is in need of probably some finishing, I would imagine. I wouldn't tell him to his face because he scares me a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I would say this project's probably taking a little longer than mine, just saying. Uh, and it's a lot safer in here than what the Nether Hub is, so I was just going to throw that in there too. But looking very nice. Uh, this is a great building. We chose Agent A for the build on Town Hall because we knew of his skills. And we were not disappointed up to this point. But uh, we don't know if we're going to be disappointed or not until the thing gets done. Um, just just one of those things. But So sunflowers, Agent A pointed out. Uh, I think they might have got them all changed. Yeah, well, no, there's one. I'll show you. See, sunflowers should not face the side of a building. Now, it makes sense if this sunflower was like right outside the window, facing the window, so when you're inside, but more than anything, the path is probably the dominant view, and the sunflowers are just not cutting it. All right, so this is definitely a pretty cool building. Um, this is one of six deals. It's coming soon. Uh, it's a tackle shop. Now, I don't know if he's shown any of this in his video, but... I think I can at least do a little bit of window shopping. He's got a guard dog in there. Dude, don't be coming and jacking my stuff. I got a guard dog. Look at this pretty cool little map over there of spawn. So that's cool. We probably need to get a, uh, a full-blown map of our entire area. So somebody probably needs to take on that project. But you can see, he's going to be selling all the things that have to do with fishing. So... Fishing, fishing. I wonder if he's going to have night crawlers. Hmm. Pretty cool. Alright, so he's got this going. The design on here is really neat. I really like it. Um, and Agent mentioned in one of his videos he didn't like the nether rack fence. And if you get real close, I see what he's saying. But from afar, uh, I almost see where it, where it blends well too. So, I don't know. To each his own. One thing that I do know, it kind of goes hand in hand with what I do for a living. Um, every preference, everybody's preference can be different. Doesn't mean it's right or wrong. Um, it just means one person's eye is not always another person's gleam. So we'll just have to let it be that. That's what makes the world go round. I don't know if I've shown you guys the farm, so we'll make a run into the farm. Pretty cool. We got different items here. Potatoes. Carrots. And wheat. And the signs match. Because once upon a time they didn't. Some of you made fun. But it's back organized. And there's his farm. This thing's pretty handy. It's just punch it. Flip a switch and push a button. And you get yourself a little farm action. We would do that. But I'm too lazy to plant. So we're leaving. So here's spawn. Pretty cool place. Um, you died again. Who died again? Oh, let's go over that. 42 Monkey Boy, 1 Fred 29. He's catching me, by the way, if you didn't notice. That's only 18 away from me. So, um, yeah, it's going to be cool. And then Agent A, tiptoeing around, looking hot. Looking hot. All right, this part I'm going to teleport uh, YouTube style. So, I will meet you over at... One Fred's place. Okay, this is beautiful. This is One Fred's place. Um, nice horse. The thing we like about One Fred is his building style is just unparalleled. And then I see a name right there. His building style, no one can compete with, is one of the most beautiful things ever. Now let me show you this. This here happens to be his place, but he got robbed. And he got robbed blind. So, oh, I hear a little junior. Let's check out this new bow. Oh, you know what? I have no arrows. <laughs> Let's not check out this new bow. Let's get smacked by, <laughs> by a little turp. 
All right, well, let's see. Where do we get to his new home at? He's just hanging out in there. I wonder if he's trying to trying to dodge us here. All right, let's. Uh, where is he? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Is he in here? Oh, there he is. Place is looking good. Why did I get cobble? I was not expecting cobble. So this is Fred's place, man. Right to here. Holiday star. Ooh, wow. This guy's doing some work in here, man. Ooh, I wonder if I'll find some arrow stash in here. I wonder if he'll lend me some arrows with interest. Should I ask him? He's AFK, so it won't matter, right? If you're okay, if you're AFK, you're allowed to get robbed. How come I saw bones in that chest and bones in that chest too? Dude, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, let's see, arrows. <laughs> With interest. Let's see if he falls for that one. Where'd he go? He doesn't want to play this game with me. That's not very nice. Alright, we'll find our own. Okay guys, we checked out this place. This is a pretty cool little storage room and that's all fine and good. That's all there is to one Fred's place because he's been working hard. So we're gonna go over to his blaze spawner. We'll show you that next. Okay guys, I hope it's not too dark for you. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa, that thing's ugly. Move on from that. Get out of my way, boy. There it is, the big old mamba jamba. Quit trying to kiss me. Oh, <laughs> pucker up, dude. I don't even know how to spell pucker. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to kiss from you. This is a blaze spawner. Now this thing, I'm not sure the rates, but it's probably at least twice as fast as a skeleton spawner, if not faster. That's just a guess. So basically you just turn the thing on. Um, they will come down, you, you crush them, and then when you're done crushing them and killing them, because it'll be one hits, then you can reset it and start all over again. What turns it on and off is the lava. So that's, that thing's pretty darn stinking cool. And I think you can use a splash potion of harming, which is pretty simple to make. Don't accidentally make it with glistening melon. Uh, you can make it with fermented spider eye and regular spider eye. So there's more than one way to make it and it's cheaper. You just find yourself a spider spawner and let it let them drop like dig it down as far as you can let them drop to their death and just put hoppers down there to pick up those spiders and those spider eyes you have plenty of spider eyes to make that potion very cheap and inexpensive so all right so there's all of one fred's work besides his slime farm um but i think you've probably seen that before and it's a pretty pretty cool deal we're gonna go check out the other two guys' places all right guys, we're back at the nether hub. I don't know how chopped up this video is gonna get, uh, showing you a lot of things. And so we're kinda gonna check out the tunnels of these guys that have done the most work to their tunnels, which are pretty stinking cool. Mm-hmm, gotta stay fed. So check it out. This is Agent A's tunnel, and what I like about it is you got these ice jumps, which makes it go super fast to go through this tunnel, so. You know, guys, well, I was, dude, I've had a rough week, and I was telling you, you know, work's been killing me. Not killing me, I really do enjoy my job. And uh, it's challenging, but rewarding, refreshing, uh, to watch people grow and develop, and, and that's probably why I like it the most, just to watch people grow and develop but I, man, these last two days, I've been a mess. Um, in the past, I've known that I've been known to have migraines. Oh, the nether portal, you still see my food. You see the nether portal through my food when I'm eating. I don't know if you noticed that. But I've, I've been known to have migraines. I've had them since I was 12 years old. 
And a lot of people don't even know what a migraine really is because it's been kind of like just a term, you know, for having a bad day. Oh, or, you know, kids, kids, you're going to give me a migraine, you know, uh, just out of sarcasm. And it's not just a headache. Oh, we got a little villager over here saving him for later, another day. That's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> now, a migraine is truly a medical condition, and it's different than a regular headache. And it has to do with uh, arteries constricting the blood flow. And a lot of people will see uh, blurriness or spots in their eyes, and then headache to nausea to numbness that's really quite serious. And um, I experienced those sometimes in groups. Um, earlier this year, I've had a couple where, well, I had one earlier this year, I had five out of eight days. And one of them took me all the way to the hospital to get rid of it, because sometimes they'll come and go. Medication sometimes helps, and sometimes it just seems like it irritates it. But anyways, day before yesterday, I had a migraine, and I was able to make it through work even with it because it was just come and went, no big deal, easy come, easy go kind of thing. And then yesterday, I had one that put me on the couch for the rest of the day, man. It just knocked me dead. So <clears throat> on top of work, maybe a little extra stress, that kind of thing, uh, migraines is triggered by usually inconsistencies. Uh, at least that's what my neurologist says. If you have any inconsistencies in your diets or any inconsistencies in your habits, sleeping, uh, like, you know, diets, uh, exertion of energy. If you're not normally active and all of a sudden you go for a quick run, um, that kind of stuff is what triggered migraines. Um, so mine is due to extra stress and pressure, which will affect uh, the, the blood flow as well. So I need to stay calm. So I need to play more Minecraft. That'll help it a lot. So anyways, this is a mine shaft. Kind of check that out, how he throws down his mine shaft. And again, this is Agent A's. And um, this is mesmerizing. Very comforting. Coming up and down this tunnel. With the music in the background. We feel so comfortable. Until you say, ah. Stupid villager. Another thing that we've got over here is Agent A's sheep farm. Ah. And this thing is being redone, as you might have seen in his last video. Keep it down. And he made it where it's all automated and everything. But now he's just going to simplify. Just drop in there, trim, trim, trim every square. Go put it in a chest that sorts. Pretty simple. I, th I always have a feeling that Agent A has a lot more going on than what you know. Hence the name Agent A. Kind of like a secret Agent A. Mm hmm. Yeah, he thinks he's got one over on us, but we know he has secrets. That's okay. Not a big thing. Mm hmm. We really do enjoy Agent A with us. I mean, the guy is very talented on this game, uh, has some really cool ideas. I would say his experience is probably the best that we have on the server. Um, I know one Fred has quite a bit of experience. I also know Sig has quite a bit of experience in different facets of Minecraft. Mine is probably, I, I'm definitely, I'm still a rookie. I haven't even been playing the game a year yet. But um, experience wise, I think Agent has probably done and seen more than most of us. So it's really a blessing to have him on. And he's really just a great guy and he's fun to have around too. Um, anyways, enough kissing agents, Heine. Ain't that great. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> so <laughs> let's go check out Sig's tunnel. Uh, two different personalities for sure between Sig and this guy. Uh, Sig's tunnel's really nice though. I really like the design. It's tall and skinny and so am I. So I run through here just comfy as, as can be. Um, man, Sig is... Sig is like shooting out videos through a machine gun. That guy will just video after video after video. Um, he, he was in between jobs, so he was like 
just filling his time with videos and and he's got a lot of cool and fun ideas and uh, a cool personality and that kind of stuff and but the videos were firing I lot I, I kind of got behind on them so you guys help me out get over to his channel uh, let me let me know what's happening over there in Sigland but we're gonna kind of take a sneak peek here and see what we've got going on I really love the glass above the light I gotta say I don't know if he showed this in one of his videos yet but if not I just showed it for him whoa that looks like there's something behind there yeah let's find out there is there's glass huh that's pretty cool too I really like his design in here it's fantastic whoa huh all right Man, this guy, every time I come through here, it's something new. All right, let's check it out. Let's, we've been to the graveyard before, haven't we, guys? So you can already tell this place is way different from Halloween. Uh, Knoxville, done. Uh, episode 11 donkey. <laughs> Went out with a bang. Rest in pieces, yeah. Baby mule. My bee. Wow. So that's episode 19. I need to get through some vids. Wow, here's the trick-or-treat trunk we put under here. <laughs> the trusty trunk is still there. That's pretty amazing. Now look at that island in the sky. You really need to check out this channel because there's some really cool stuff. I'm not even sure what this is. I'm not even going to guess at this. I don't know if it's like a horse jumping arena or something. Can we get a view on this? Signs don't say nothing. Yeah. S. I don't know. He's got some redstone under there. Whoa. Took a dive. Let's see here what this thing says. Six, oh, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's got to be some sort of timing going on. And I believe since the horses can go over one block no problem, they then would step on the pressure plate signaling something to be able to time it that would be my guess but i'm wrong all the time so hate me if i'm wrong he has a skelly farmer skelly farm over here look at them bushy eyebrows man <laughs> i bet he's got a beard too that's like the abraham lincoln skeleton wow bushy eyebrows are <laughs> that is so funny man wow did we see what was on the other side of this thing here I don't know. I, I'm not going to hit any levers. I'm just going to looky loop. Oh, okay. So he's just got a big Russian farm that comes down here. Not Russian as in the, you know, country, the people, nothing like that. Soviet Union or Russia or none of that. Formerly known as or currently. It's just going to flow down and bring his... And there is a lot of animals. They must be in there. And then I don't know what that thing is over there either. Wow. I gotta say, and this isn't an insult, Sig is probably the quirkiest dude on our server. And we all need a quirky dude. Oh, I see. He's got himself working a uh, sugar cane farm. Yeah, look at that. I get it, because you need for trading with these guys, you're going to need a lot of sugar, sugar cane. And because he's got villagers happening over here like crazy. But yeah, Sig, man, quirky dude, that, he just, I don't know, man, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. If he would just slow down his videos a little bit and, uh, and action pack each one, that way I can watch more, it'd be great. All right, guys, check it out. And then we've got, uh, I don't know. Well, there's one guy I didn't show you guys because I'm not quite sure what's going on in his world. Um, Doc's not sure what he's got going on in his world. And uh, we got Frosty Dog 24 that is rebuilding a computer so he can record. And he's talking about doing some recording on a revamped computer here shortly. So... We'll just kind of keep those guys aside until they decide what they're going to do. And if they want to join in, we'll start talking about them. 
But here we go. That's wrapped up in a nutshell. We're going to be definitely out of time. We're going to have to go exploring on the next episode. I don't know how much of the exploring I'll show you. I'll, but you know how it goes. We just go out there, and if something's cool, I'll show it to you. And if nothing cool happens, I'll just bring back all the goods, and we'll pop the walls up on this thing and fix the transitions and finish this thing out. Agent was telling me that gas are spawning above the dirt now because as long as there's one one block available and then enough space they'll spawn so um i don't know if that's the case i haven't seen them spawn yet and he said they were shooting my wool but the thing is is they don't shoot the wool unless you're up there above them so i don't know i think he's clowning me he's a troll what can i say but i hope you enjoyed this episode um i tell you what once i get through next week we're gonna get back to you know, the serious builds, uh, hopefully some cool redstone. Definitely, we're going to be working on the castle. But please remember in the comments, let's you, tell me what you think about a name for uh, my mountain castle. And um, I'll pick the best one, guys. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, thumbs up and subscribe as always. Later.